Michael Williams standing by with the presidential candidate, Newt Gingrich. Michael. Mr. Speaker, thank you for being with us for just a moment. You took a tough line on Middle East policy before the Republican Jewish coalition. You feel the administration's not gone far enough there? Well, I think the president's uh, totally deluded about how the world works. I think he's trying to appease the Iranians who can't be appeased. I think that he has unleashed forces of change in the region he doesn't understand. And I think the region is getting more dangerous, not less. Mr. Speaker, talk about uh, the ties to Ronald Reagan. You continue to be assailed in commercials by your opponent, Mitt Romney. You talked about the Reagan-Gingrich connection forcefully here, and yet the argument continues to be made across the state by your opponent that uh, you were not as much a part or really a major part of the Reagan revolution, revolution. Speak to that critique and criticism that people are hearing everywhere. Look, even he conceded last night in the debate that his side was baloney. Uh, the fact is Michael Reagan will be here to campaign with me this weekend. Uh, Nancy Reagan in 1995 at the Goldwater Institute said, as Barry passed the torch of conservatism to Ronnie, Ronnie has passed the torch of conservatism to Newt. Uh, I think it is absurd for somebody who voted in the Democratic primary in 1992 for Paul Songus and who gave money to Democratic members of Congress in 1992 to question the, the credentials of a genuine conservative when he wasn't there, he wasn't part of it. And in fact, he was much closer to being a liberal Democrat than he was to being a conservative Republican at that point. Mr. Speaker, to those who do not follow the inside baseball of politics, though it would be hard in Florida this week, talk <laughs> fundamentally in this race about why you are most qualified. You've been asked again and again on stage during debates about electability. There is still a concern among some, I emphasize some, in the Republican sure. establishment that Mitt Romney at the end of the day is more electable in a general election campaign than Newt Gingrich. Look, the establishment which gave us a moderate who lost in 1996, they gave us a moderate who lost in 2008, they'd love to give us another moderate. It's very hard for a moderate to run against somebody like Barack Obama. You need a solid conservative like Reagan in 1980 against Carter. I can make a much better case of how different my conservatism is from Obama's radicalism than can uh, Mitt Romney. Okay, I've got to run. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. We appreciate your time. Newt Gingrich, as the rest of the media catches up with him, but we thought we'd catch him live for you here on News Channel 5 as he makes his way to his campaign bus. This the familiar scene for the Speaker, indeed for any presidential candidate this time of year, as he's taking time to talk to other reporters and making his way to his campaign bus, where he will head on to a fundraiser tonight. And then the final sprint in Florida as we continue to take a live look as he makes his way over to Newt 2012, his bus, kind of hard to miss. The quote on it says, rebuilding the America we love. Again, the latest Quinnipiac survey suggests that much of his South Carolina momentum has been blunted by Mitt Romney with two strong debate performances, one in Tampa Monday and then one last night again in Jacksonville. But a lot of money pouring into both of these campaigns. You at home are being bombarded over the airwaves with coverage and ads from the candidates and from super PACs supporting them. We'll continue to have full News Channel 5 coverage, including more from our exclusive live interview with Newt Gingrich, all of that coming up at 5.30 and 6. Now back to you. And Michael Williams on the ground for us doing a terrific job down in Delray Beach, getting the only one-on-one -on -one interview with Newt Gingrich as he made his way from the podium in Delray at the Civic Center, South County Civic Center, to his van there. So.